So let's have Jacob comes to the chat. Calling Utah, Mr. Jacob Young. Here you are. Hey. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Thank you for having me on your show. Oh, always, you're welcome. Actually, a lot of people are asking about you to me. They said, Varol, invite Jacob, invite him, invite him. I said, okay, let's invite him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I want to say thank you to all those people. Yeah, thanks to them. Anyway, <laughs> so we, we can start uh, our talk. I think we have a lot of things to talk. Of course, many people, many fans in Europe, Jacob, they know you from a big show, Bold and Beautiful. Yeah, and that's right. And you played a character, Rick Forrester, when you were 18, I think. You started when you were 18. Yeah, uh, I started when I was 18. It was uh, my, really, it was my very first professional uh, acting job. Wow, that's really cool. And let's look at some footage. How the bold and beautiful. Oh. Hi, honey. Hey. <laughs> What are you doing here? Oh, I'm back. Is Hope with you? No, she's going to stay in Italy for a little while. Well, she must be doing better if you're here. Oh, she still has some things to work through. But how are you? Another bang-up day at the office. I'm sure Maya filled you in. She said that you're living together and that your marriage to Caroline It's over. It's over. I knew that you were having problems. I just didn't realize it involved Ridge. About that, I'm sure you got a lot of questions. There's something I have to tell you first. There was an incident at the office tonight. An incident? Shots were fired. Gunshots? I wasn't trying to hurt anybody. You? Oh, don't worry, I didn't hit anyone. I wasn't even aiming at them. Who? Oh. So that was a gunshot. <laughs> no, really? That was uh that was a, that was a fun that was our fun scenes to shoot. No oh. pun intended. <laughs> wow. Don't play with the guns, man. So it can be dangerous. <laughs> Let's see. We can continue a little bit. Thanks, Chris. See you soon. Yeah. Drinking and guns. Drinking and guns. They go hand in hand. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Chris! Tell us, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell us a little bit about those years because, yeah, you did very well actually, long years in Bold and Beautiful. You started at 1997, also, you were there, and then in 2018, still we mm -hmm. saw you there. So, let us tell us a little bit and let us know how to work with the Bold and Beautiful team. Yeah, no, uh, Bold and Beautiful, uh, again, was my very first uh, professional acting gig. And, um, uh, you know, I was, you know, I had, had always acted, you know, you know, early on in high school. I was in community theater. Um, and then, of course, this suddenly kind of came about. I was auditioning for uh, different kinds of TV, film at that same time. And The Bold and the Beautiful was, was again, my first job. And, um, you know, I, was, I felt like I was a little like a fish out of water to begin with, but uh, with the support of people like uh, Susan Flannery and Ron Moss and Adrian France, um, you know, six months later, I was nominated for an Emmy. And so it was, uh, it was sort of like a, 
a dream like that was happening all of a sudden so fast. Um, so, uh, but, but, you know, I, you know, I, I left the show, I went on to do other things. I came back to the show later on after all my children was canceled and, um, and it was nice to, to reconnect with everybody and reconnect with that character. I had a really great time, um, on, on Bold and the Beautiful. Yeah, that was really, I mean, cool because we saw your pictures now in the beginning and later. So it is really cool to play the same character, you know, so the son of Brooke and Eric. Eh? <laughs> Hey, you know, it's it's good it's good to be the son of uh, someone, someone, yeah, someone I important. <laughs> I know, man. And also, of course, you were in All My Children, General Hospital, and you get the Daytime Emmy Awards also. You won it. So it was really great to hear that. Congratulations in that Thank period you. also. And then uh, you went also to a lot of movies in, uh, in between, actually, because, yeah, in 2004, there was a really great movie. The Girl Next Door. Which was, <laughs> yeah, that, I think it's an interesting movie. So that was really A, cool. a very interesting movie. Uh, coming of, a coming-of-age comedy um, with the, the, the master producer, Chuck Gordon, who did Field of Dreams, October Sky, um, of course, The Girl Next Door. Um, it was the very first major film that uh, Emil Hirsch, Alicia Cuthbert from the show 24, Timothy Oliphant was in it. Um, I mean, just it, it's just a really stacked cast. I'm so blessed to be a part of that film. Uh, it was such, it was great. It, you know, it was sort of sensitive, uh, you know, especially for like younger audiences because it's, you know, it, the girl next door is a porn star, but it ultimately has a fantastic message, um, you know, about a kid overcoming uh, all those plights of becoming a young adult and, and then moving on to, you know, his college career and what he wanted to achieve and was able to do that uh, without, of course, being waylaid somewhere in between. But um, what, a, what a great production with uh, so, uh, Fox Searchlight Films. Uh, I was uh, very fortunate to be a part of that cast. Yeah, because that was really cool also on the, all over the Europe because people really liked it. I remember also even though the poster, that was really fun also. Yeah, but, yeah was... I, I've, never, I've never actually seen that poster. That's cool. And um, that particular poster. Uh, but, you know, I, I went to London. It was probably about three, four years after that film was produced. And, you know, it did OK in America. It did better on like uh, the re-release, you know, for the home rentals and videos. Not a, not a big box office. But when I went to London, it didn't matter where I went. Like every like guy in every pub was like, Mate, you're that guy. You're that guy from the girl next door. Yeah. And so okay. I was like, wow, this is, I guess it, it became kind of a cult classic in particular <laughs> countries. Oh, okay. That's, that's also nice. And then yeah. uh, also you started the music also with, I think first with Broadway musicals too, you did. I think um, I heard that you were in the Beauty and the Beast in 2006. Yeah, well, you know, my, you know, music was always the first part of my, my career. I mean, like, I mean, not professionally. I was always involved in music to begin with. Uh, I was signed uh, very shortly, after, right after I was on Bold and the Beautiful, to a record label, Artemis Records, which is Danny Goldberg and Daniel Glass, who are responsible for the Eagles and 311 and the Cardigans and nice. Jeff Buckley and just on and on and on. These guys... Are, were masters in the business and they signed me to my first record contract. So that was really, you know, wonderful because, you know, I had all this music that I was like sort of building up inside of me and I was able to put that first album out. Um, unfortunately, after all of that work, the album was released on Tuesday, September 11th, 2001 oh. on 9-11. Okay. Um, so it was, uh, you know, it was, it was a very weird thing. And so mentally for myself, I was thinking, you know, maybe this is not meant to be. Maybe there's somebody, you know, a higher power that's saying maybe I shouldn't be pursuing my musical ambitions as, as much. And I decided to take a, a break. I never stopped playing music. I never stopped writing music, but I stopped performing and I stopped, you know, for a while other than in my own living room. Okay. Um, but, but I had always had ambitions to do Broadway. And so I, as soon as I moved to New York, I started auditioning for Broadway musicals. Um, very, very tough bracket to get into. You know, it's just, just like breaking into the A-list film world. Uh, Broadway is a very, very niche market. Very, very hard to get into. 
Um, and it took me multiple auditions to, to, to land a role. And of course it was uh, Lumiere in Beauty and the Beast on yes. Broadway. Um, and, uh, you know, I didn't know what to expect exactly, but, um, they were very happy because I was the first, uh, I was the very first person to start pulling in a million dollars. Uh, it was like a million dollars a week for the show, Whoa. Uh, based upon, you know, their, their, their promotions, but because of the success of ABC and ABC was, a, you know, it was owned by Disney and Disney, of course, is a big conglomerate. And it, you know, it just worked. The whole thing worked, and it was it was wonderful to be a part of that. And I was able to um, to uh, live my dreams literally every night on stage on Broadway uh, in Beauty and the Beast. Of course, man. Broadway is you know different world. You know different. You know it's really cool. Different than LA life. You know. So you did you did well, I think there also. You know what? But that was an interesting yeah. story also that part. And then of course in the bold and beautiful times, also my friends met you in Monte Carlo because you attend to World Music Awards. Yeah. Also, yeah, the, Monte Carlo. Yeah, yeah the World, World Music Awards. You know, we, we were just talking about that because you just you just had uh, David Chokichi from Baywatch yeah. On, yeah. on your show. And uh, I had not talked to David in several years. Uh, I had moved to New York, so we had lost, lost touch for so, so many years. But um, all of a sudden, like, he, he hit me up in my direct messaging in and on my instagram and he was like dude i you know i found you just now here on and then like literally two days later i saw him doing a live interview with you uh, and, and so i was like i was like small world you know yeah yeah no, he, he's a cool guy i i also did some work with him in los angeles i did some work with him in new jersey we had great uh yeah contact and yeah we did some meet and greets you know it was really cool he's a really cool actor and cool guy he was also, he filmed a couple of films actually in uh, Bulgaria, in Romania. So he's really a lot in Europe for filming. But he's well, now in, uh, yeah, he's in Los Angeles because of the situation now, because of Corona. Also in his garage and in his house, we were, you know, we just made some live uh, yeah, chat from his place actually also. That's cool. Yeah, no, I, I saw that. It was fantastic. And yeah. um yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, unfortunately, because of the COVID-19 situation, the industry yeah. is shut down until who I knows know. when. Um, but there are some limitations. I mean, I'm getting ready to shoot a film in July in South Carolina. Nice. If, if everything is 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 OK. I mean, I know the, the thing is, is with SAG and after, which is our actors union, yep. uh, everybody on the production, everybody on the cast basically has to sign off and make sure that. Uh, everybody is willing to take not only the risk, but make sure they take the precautions that are necessary, yeah. meaning still trying to social distance, yeah. which is very difficult for anybody who's never been on a film set because, you know, you're constantly being touched by wardrobe, makeup, you know, exactly. you, the, the sound operators have to put, you know, your microphones inside your clothing. So yeah. that's very close. That's very personal. Yeah. They're close to acting with somebody. So everybody has to sign off. And if everybody doesn't sign off and the production doesn't move forward, um, and these are going to be similar to the guidelines that are going to be taking place in Los Angeles and New York and the bigger demographics yeah. that are that are going to continue. So um, it's going to be interesting as everything starts to slowly open up and see how we can all yeah. uh, sort of make this, you know, exactly, work exactly. Jacob. And I see many also fans are already connected. Uh, for example, Murat Sima is there. Hello to Istanbul. He's my also business partner. He's watching you from Turkey. Hello. Hello to Murat. And Angelique is saying, Jacob, when are you coming to NL? I hope very soon. We, we were talking. Maybe we should, uh, you know, you know, sort something out to where we can meet some of the fans out there. I think you know Angelique. Huh? She's one of the biggest fans. I, I do know yeah, Angelique. Biggest fan, yeah, actually, not one. Well. Biggest fan of BNB, uh, especially you guys in Holland. Probably the number one biggest fan. Yeah, I think so too. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so she's always lovely. She's always assisting me also when we do meet and greets. So she's a very nice person also. And yeah. I see many messages. Actually, we will come back to those messages. Sorry, guys, because we have uh, some more things about music with uh, Jacob. So that is a really good part, actually. We will come to the music. And before the music, another uh, thing about movies, Jacob. Uh, Psycho Granny. So that is also <laughs> one of the thrillers you did. Actually, it's a different thriller movie, uh, Lifetime, in 2019. Yeah. 
Yeah, the, uh, so I, I, you know, I, I was, I was called in at last minute as, as a favor for that movie to play a role. Um, it's quite it's interesting. A very, a very you know, very dear casting director friend of mine who casts has cast over a thousand, uh, a thousand Lifetime movies and all sorts of from Netflix, you, you name it. Yeah. He, he's he's an amazing casting director. So he called me and asked me if I would be able to be willing to do that role and. It was so much fun. It was a great. It was a great group to work with, and okay. um, you know th these uh, these lifetime movies. You know, you know they can they can be a little campy, but at the same time they're fun because you really can stretch yourself as exactly. an actor exactly. and a character. Look here, even though they saw you and they are asking me, this guy looks nice, Veril. Uh, is he doing also giving classes? Is he doing acting classes? And I said yes. Also, he is because they check about you. I mean, the people who watch the film, the, uh, the yeah. trailer movie, and then they, they found out that you do also giving some classes or acting <laughs> classes. So that's why they asked me to ask you about it, you know? So about, well, uh, I think, actor's technique in teaching classes. Yeah, so, yeah, so, I, you know, I decided, you know, it, it was, I, you know, I had so many parents that have come up to me over the years and, yeah. and they asked me, you know, how does my child or how, you know, they, they, they want to get into acting, how do they start? And, you know, it became such a repetition, you know, sort of thing that I would always say to them. Eventually, you know, I started saying, well, you know, I could probably help you guys in some way. And so I started to, I started, you know, some classes and I've had lots and lots of success with Actors Technique New York. But, um, you know, I've also taught on, on the side. And you know, I, like, I like working with the younger children because, you know, their minds are like sponges and, you know, they've got no fear which is amazing. Whereas like working with adults, you know, you've got all these pretenses that are already on you from life and everything that's happening in their personal lives. But um, I've decided that instead of continue to do classes that way, that I'm, I'm actually gonna be open, I'm, I'm starting a masterclass series that's gonna be available online. Nice. And, you know, it, it'll go over all of the basics for beginners to, you know, the next phase will also be breaking into uh, you know, scene study and character development uh, and what that takes. I mean, auditioning, headshots, resumes, the entire thing. So be on the lookout for that because I'm really, really proud of that. And uh, cool. it's going to be uh, very helpful for anybody who's interested in, in fast tracking in the industry. Fast tracking, nice. That's also mm -hmm. nice to hear. And also, yeah. the years pass and your image is also changing, you know, because I show uh, some photos of you and lately mm -hmm. you have some longer hair. And like, like a musician, country music, you know, you can, it fits very well actually with this style also, actually. I like it also yeah, very well, much thank, longer thank hair. Yeah, well, thank you very much. I, you know, I mean, I, I enjoyed growing my hair, but as, as an actor, of course, long hair doesn't work for every role. Um, and everybody has their opinion. I know some people liked it with long hair. Some people, um, you know, like me with short hair. Some people like me with the beard. Some people don't. But, you know, that's the wonderful thing about uh, being an actor is being able to change up your looks and, you know, hey, it's only hair. It can grow back. A beard can grow yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see also a lot of uh, ladies now. They are saying he's handsome, very beautiful guy, handsome oh, no. boy. And especially, we can read one of them. I choose one because she sent also a lot of hearts. Uh, Sabi Vitanza on Instagram, her name, nickname, or her profile yeah. name. He was so handsome, he still is. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, she's a, she's a big fan. She's been following me for very years. Lori Beth, I see here. Yeah. She says she loves the beard also. They like your beard, actually. Sylvia Vegax, also the same uh, <laughs> remark. And let's see when you are making some music. I will. I have some clips actually here in front of me, loving it. So let's see Jacob, and then he will tell a little bit about the loving it, the music clip. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It looks very nice actually, where it was shot. So it looks very beautiful. Yeah, holy hair. <laughs> yeah. Wow, beautiful view. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
So tell me a little bit about this music clips. How is it going? The music life. So well, so that particular song, loving it, was you know because at that time when I was writing that song, I was traveling a lot back and forth to Los Angeles from here in Utah, and it really takes a slice out of my life with my wife and my family, and. Uh, you know the the the, the verses are talking. Oh, you have about, already. You, know, you have a wife and family, kids. Yeah, I have three children. Oh, because you look like thirty, twenty nine, thirty. You're too kind. <laughs> You're too kind. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, I'm yeah cool, no. Uh, and then I, no, I'm, I'm. You know, I have three kids, and anyway, it was the song was based about 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 being away from them and been coming home, of course, and and uh, especially coming home to my wife and. Uh, and so it was. Uh, that's where the inspiration was drawn, and it's very easy to be inspired by her because she is really that you know that salt of the earth, and she's that that person in my life that really keeps me grounded and keeps me moving forward. I nice. I love her to death. I wouldn't be the person that I am today if it wasn't for her. Very nice, very nice. And also, I see also on your Instagram you make also very nice music. Also, let's see one other, for example, your post. Actually, this is also an interesting one. This is one of your new posts on um, Yeah, that was, um, yeah, no, I was doing a, a Waylon Jennings cover. Yeah, I see it, you know, so that was really also a cool one. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh. I had a lot more beer there. Yeah. So the <laughs> clip is nice, you know, so you make it nice as always. I like it, this kind of also the patient, you know, the music, how you are doing, you know, every time when you have free time, you're also taking your guitar and making some music. So that's also very nice, actually. Yeah, you know, music, you know, music is my therapy for sure. It, it definitely... Um... It's a, it's always been been there, and and my wife would tell you the same thing. Is um, it's always been that thing that where I come home from work after a stressful day of memorization and being on set for twelve hours, and suddenly just being able to come home, play the guitar, it gets all those, you know, you know anything that was stressful out of me, and next thing you know, I'm, I'm in a much better mood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. And then the, let's talk a, li a little bit about the situation which we are in now the corona situation and i think you are also in you are in utah so you also stayed at home like two three months already yeah so i mean you know just like anywhere in you know the, in the world right now we're, we're trying to abide here in utah in the same sort of um you know restrictions and following the covid 19 restrictions that have been um you know um, not only um, recommended but of course you know i i want to i you know my wife and I were very careful about, um, we, you know, we don't want to be the problem. We want to help be the solution about that. And um, so even when we do have to go to the grocery store, we still wear masks. Not everybody in Utah is. We are not considered quite a hot spot. But, you know, given the recent, there's been recent spikes. And I know there's been covering a lot with the Black Lives Matters. And, and absolutely, they should be. Um, but there's been a lot of uh, takeaway from that. And I see that there's been a lot of the COVID-19 spikes happening in a lot of uh, the, you know, the Carolinas and Tennessee, yeah. um, and, you know, in California again. And, yeah. you know, I just think that maybe, you know, you know, if you don't have to still go out or if you have to go out, still continue to wear your mask, be careful, you know, and, and we're, we're, you know, we're being careful here. I know we're, we're taking all the precautions. And I've been, you know, other than a little bit of work that I've done, I've been, you know, I, I stay at home. I stay here with my kids. I had to educate my kids because the school year was cut, cut short. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're not only playing parents, but we're also playing teachers. Yeah. And, and so that's been a very interesting and not, not so difficult, but explaining to them, hey, why can't we go out? Why can't we go to the movies? Why can't we go, you know, to the restaurant? You know, they, you know, it took them a while to understand that. But um, the other day, my daughter, um, she had to do a Zoom, she, you know, uh, Zoom audition. She she's, wants to be quite the actress herself. Yeah. And nice. um, she just had a national Mazda commercial that she is in producer's callbacks for. Nice. And I was very, very excited for her. And I said, hey, you know, look, 
you know, if everything goes good, because she's never done a Zoom session, so to speak, and it was with casting directors. And I said, if everything goes good, I said, why don't we go down to the, the market and we'll, we'll pick out some candy, but we have yeah. to wear our masks. <laughs> and, yeah. and of course, this was her first time actually being out in public since the COVID-19 lockdown. Yeah. So, so she, it, was, it was a big deal. And she almost forgot how, how amazing the candy aisle looks. And her eyes like just went super, super big. And she was like, I want that. And I want that. And I want that. And um, it, it, was, it, was, it was sweet. It was very nice. And I just wish things could really get back to normal. But we're doing our due diligence. And we're trying to stay safe here. Yeah, yeah. And also, the, what did you do in the quarantine cooking? I mean, the, did you cook some food or your wife is cooking or? No, I'm, I'm, I'm I, you know, you know, we do share some of the cooking duties, but I really enjoy cooking. I've always enjoyed cooking. Um, you know, I, I, I cook, you know, pretty much anything and everything. And, um, in, and now it's become easier and easier for me. It's, okay. I mean, I, I can cook. Uh, I mean, you, you name it. I, I can I can cook it, I, and I, I have smokers. I've got grills. I've got I cook in the st on the stove on on pans. I I I, I enjoy the whole process of it. Um, if and, and the, the I think the most rewarding thing is that everybody else enjoys it. It makes that. You and know, Jacob, what experience. is your fa favorite dish? Um, you know, I, you know, my my favorite dish. You know, I I, I don't necessarily have a favorite dish. I, I do enjoy cooking a lot with uh, experimenting with different herbs. I have a really wonderful herb garden that we have at the house here. Um, and I always make sure that I'm infusing anything that I'm cooking with, with fresh herbs. And I can't, I can't say that enough. Like if you want to enhance your meals, you want them to taste right. You want them to taste great, slow and low and make sure you use fresh herbs. That that's, you know, that's, that's all you need right there. And then after Corona, I mean, a little bit lockdown is less now, I think, over there. And then you went out, I think, immediately. After the, the lockdown is a bit quieter, did you go out immediately or not? No, no, no. We, we, we haven't even gone to any restaurants. Because I see yes, some we... posts. I don't know. What is this then? Oh, no. That, I actually, I was, it, was, uh, it was some work that I just, I just did. I was on oh, set. Oh, I, I thought because after immediately you went out for a party. No, no, you can see that there's the, the, clap, the clapboard on the second photo yeah, there. I, I'm joking, I'm joking. You know, oh, yeah, no, no, no. I love it because yeah, I like the view. Yeah, that's my Ferrari also. Yeah, I like, no. the, I like the view, I like the car, and I like the red dress. The yeah, woman yeah, in that's red. not my car, and that's not my red dress. <laughs> okay. No chance, then. No, no problem. And I see it. So, you see, you are right. Yeah. This is the clapboard. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. the view is nice. The mountains behind. Yeah, well, I mean, that's I mean, that's why I'm in Utah. It's beautiful. It's, uh, you know, it, it just it's a real peace of mind. And it's really inspiring to be in a place that, you know, is much larger than life. It's crazy in, in that way. It's just everywhere you look is just these big, big mountains. And um, there's nothing bigger than that, in my my opinion. It's, you know, you forget about Hollywood. You forget about all that stuff, yeah. and and you're allowed to just relaxing, relax, relax. Exactly. Okay. You got. And also, I heard that you are co-producing a new project of Western. Yeah, we just we just we were just before the COVID lockdown. I, I shot a Western short called Will of the West, Will and the West. I co-produced it. I was also acting in it. Nice. Um, and it's a very very poignant, powerful story, um, and. We are looking to 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 potentially turn it into a mini series, oh, that's or cool. even a feature film. But I feel in my gut that it's it's a really cool uh, mini series, um, and uh, there's a lot of story to be told. So I'm thinking like a three part mini series. It talks with multiple production companies at the moment. A lot of interest because there's a lot of content that's needed right now because right. obviously Hollywood has been shut down for some time. So they're, 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 they're really needing a lot of different uh, projects. And this one, in my opinion, is a home run. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, so that will be a really good project, I think, for the coming months. And it will keep you busy also. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And I feel that, you know, that's the next phase of my career. I will continue to act, of producing and developing projects. Yeah, I think so. I think that's really cool. You are producing, co-producing, and you are acting also in the same way and it's a western and which fits your style because i saw you a lot of pictures with horses i think you like the country life western life you know i think it will fit this movie project will fit you 
I think very well, bingo. I think that will be really nice. Thank you. Yeah, it, it certainly does. I, I, I grew up on horses. I grew up in the country. Um, you know, that is my lifestyle. And um, I love I love horse horse riding. And uh, I do some of that, of course, in, in this this project and, and people can see that. And yeah. um, and I don't think a lot of people expect that they don't realize yeah. that I'm, yeah. I have equestrian abilities. Yeah. When you come to Holland, you know, I think uh, it can be really nice. Also, we have like very nice uh, horse farms, jumping, you know, so jump. So I think you will like it with horses. I think, I would, I think I would love it. Yeah, we have dressage and also jump, jumpers. I have a lot of friends also. They are uh, really busy with horses in the farms nearby my place, actually. So I, I can take you there because last time I think you were in uh, Denmark, Copenhagen. Yeah, I was in Denmark. Denmark uh, and then, you know, we were up in Finland just before that. And we stopped off in Sweden okay. just briefly. And then, uh, then Monte Carlo. It was while I was with Bold and the Beautiful. That was the last time I was over there. Okay, so we can combine uh, yeah, next time uh, all together. It will be really nice. I we'll hope so, something. man. I'm, I really look forward to it. That's cool. And Jacob, uh, of course, we talk about the music tonight. I mean, mainly also now because you are also you love music, passion, your music video clips, what we showed. And can you maybe play for your fans? Because uh, and later after the music, I want to also look at some questions also because now I'm alone here today and I want to check some of the questions because we get a lot of messages. Somebody was at, sorry, somebody was asking about the furniture, the red furniture. It's a Coke machine. Yeah, the it's a Coke machine. Fifties. Uh, Venmo, they call it uh, the Venmo machine, yeah. and this one's cool because you would take it from the top and then you dispose of your bottles on the bottom. Uh, nice. I've always been a, a, a you know I love old old school like 1950s um, yes. stuff like that. So and I put some remarks already, and I have like almost 20 people asking about sing a song for us live. And again, it came at the end, Yolanda. The Tessa also, she said, Yolanda said, sing a song for us live. I think he will do it, Yolanda, because I already get more than 20 people asking this All right. now on the chat. All right. Well, you know, um, so I, I never know how it sounds coming through the phone and when, you know, but, uh, but, but I will try. absolutely play. I'll absolutely play something. Yeah, let's try and see. Um, <clears throat> so this, this is a song that I wrote. Um, this song is, uh, uh, it's called Better Than a Love Song. It's a song that I wrote about, uh, um, you know, my relationship with my wife. Uh, we, we have really just an outstanding relationship. And, you know, I'm so thankful every day because I came from a divorced family and we had a, you know, a very struggled, you know, childhood as far as family being apart and four kids being raised by my stepfather and my mom. And it was, it, it was just an interesting time, but but um, I wrote this song and I co-wrote it with a friend of mine. And we were talking about like taking ideas from a song, different songs, like the different titles of different songs and better than a love song, you know, sort of came out of that. But, but, but if you listen to the song and you can hear some of it, you'll hear that, um, you know, there's different titles that refer to the different feelings of the song. So there's like famous titles of songs in here. Some are country songs. Some are pop songs, some are rock songs, but um, uh, let me make sure everything's tuned up here. All right, so um, this is better than a love song. Tell you, you look wonderful tonight. Go on and on about the love light in your eyes. I could take your hand and ask how do I live without you. I could find a million rhythm and rhymes and lines that just won't do. Live a little love song, stronger than Jack and Diane, easier than Sunday morning. Doing better than the best we can. Crazier than crazy love. Sweeter than pouring some sugar on me. Turn us up and sing along. Better than our love song. I could 
tell you that I knew it from the start. I got carried away, girl, and I crossed my heart. So, girl, come over here, I will turn that radio off. Sometimes we say it best when we say nothing at all. Fit a little love song, stronger than Jack and Diane. Easier than Sunday morning, doing better than the best we can. Crazier than crazy love, sweeter than corn, some sugar on me. Turn us up and sing along. You guys still with me? Yeah. It would take more than words to sum us up. Oh, honey, just look at us. No matter that I love song, stronger than Jack and Diane, easier than Sunday morning. Better than the best we can. Crazier than crazy love. Sweeter than corn, some sugar on me. Turn us up and sing along. Oh, just turn us up, sing along. My girl, we're better than a love song. Bravo. <laughs> Super. Very, very nice. Very, very, Thank very you. nice. And the sound Thank comes you. very good also. The sound was perfect. I mean, I hear very good. I think all the fans, friends also, they hear it very well, actually. You know, we have it now. They can listen it Thank you. again and again. I'm glad, so I'm glad it will be really cool. You know, coming through a phone sometimes can be a little bit tricky, but... <laughs> yeah, but today it, it was really cool, you know. The sound was good, yeah. the, the connection was good, so I don't, yeah, I think it was really cool. And your photos, we show some of your footage. Thank you for that, yeah, Instagram. yeah. And let's, for the last five minutes, we can look at the questions and messages from the fans. Yeah, yeah. Can let's... I come to Canada? Somebody's asking me to come to Canada. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> so check out also, you can read, I think. There are many, Oof. I'm looking, many, many. Thanks, Kathy. Yeah, any questions, you know, feel free to to shoot at me right now. And mm -hmm. I appreciate everybody's time coming out and hanging out with us. Amsterdam, please. That sounds cool, <laughs> too. So I see what about your younger I, self. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that would be uh, just to just, you know, take it one day at a time. Don't rush life because there's so much, so much life to live. and. I think everybody's in such a hurry to make things happen, including myself when I was younger. I wish I would have just taken more time to stop and smell the roses. And I have a question here also from uh, Torit52. And any con contacts with the Bold and Beautiful cast? Absolutely. Uh, I recently was just in contact. I stay in contact with John McCook, of course, Eric Forrester, uh, and his beautiful wife. And um, you know, we always are in touch. I'm great friends with Torsten K. I'm great friends with Ron Moss, of course. I've known Ron for so, so, so long, it feels like, and actually saw him last night, oddly enough. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, and recently, Adrian France, because, uh, you know, I know they had been running some of the older episodes on Bold and the Beautiful because of the coronavirus, and um, that was cool to see that, and so we've been in touch. So, yeah. I definitely stay in touch with all those folks and I, I love them dearly. They're like family to me. I see again, amazing voice, amazing song and even more amazing man from Sabi Vitanza. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, so I'm just going up to the... Angelique, to the thank you. Toronto, people like you very much. They invite you to Toronto. Yeah, well, you know, we're just going to have to make it a world tour, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody liked the chat. Thank you very much that they want to share this. Of course, also you can find us find us on Facebook, on Instagram or Facebook. You can see this chat today on Instagram and uh, tomorrow or after tomorrow on Facebook. And okay. 
but it's opinion on oh, okay. Oh, your kids they see the the pictures of your kids or your instagram they also they love the kids yeah they're they're, they're pretty cute i'll keep them <laughs> from italy also a lot of uh, greetings to you i see from roma from milano they like your voice again wow nice to hear yeah Cranky Katie, she says, You're welcome, well, Laurie. no one has ever thanked me. Thank you, Laurie. That's yeah. really cute. Angelique, yeah, all the fans, many bold and beautiful fans also are here, I see. All the time. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this has been a great experience to uh, to be part of uh, your show. And yeah. um, and I really do appreciate it. And of it course, seems like everybody else is out there is enjoying it too. Yeah, they like it. And also from Hong Kong, uh, Vio asked, uh, how old are your children? Vio Chocolat 999. Yes, so I've got a, a, a three-year-old, a six-year-old, and my son is 11, going to be 12. He would tell you that. He'd be like, I'm going to be 12 this year, so. Oh, that's something different came. We didn't talk about it. Steven, Steven Bergman, 29. He says, Jacob is also a very talented painter. Uh, I photographed him once with many of the great paintings he did. That well, um, yeah, well, I mean, I've always, I mean, I think, I think once you encompass in your life as an artist, your arts, you know, can, can go in so many directions. And I absolutely enjoy the time of, uh, you know, painting and, and working in different mediums uh, of, of, of painting, of course. And I've done a lot of that over the years, but, um, but thank you, Stephen. I appreciate that. And uh, that means a lot to me. And I know you, I know you have uh, photographed some of my stuff, but yeah, so it's, you know, I think it's all an extension. It's all an extension, the music, you know, the acting, the producing, the writing, um, and, and art, it's all just in a separate extension that, but all is at the same, the same at the same time. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Lori Beth, uh, 69, 70, she says that best husband ever. They see you <laughs> as a best husband. <laughs> well, that is, that is very sweet, Lori. Thank you. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think you are very nice. You have a good family. Yeah. With the kids, beautiful wife for, from Lori Beth again. Yeah, Corin, Corina said they also, beautiful wife. Yeah, beautiful family, a lot of hearts. Yeah, all the time, always, man. I see many <laughs> of you, know, very nice yeah, words about you. So, perfect, actually. What, what is your best advice for aspiring actors and people in film? Oh, yeah. um, this is my, my best advice, and this is coming from, you know, some teachings that, you know, that yes. I teach. And, and this is, uh, you know, if you if you're an aspiring actor and you want to get into film and television, find an acting group, uh, a, a theater that you can work in, and you know that that everybody works together and respects each other, and yep. uh, then allow everybody to enter, you know, to work to lift each other up. Um, because once you're in a, a positive uh, environment, you're going to be able to uh, find avenues and opportunities that you wouldn't have. Otherwise, you know, just trying to keep it to yourself. You need to get involved with a group. Um, so, so get out there and work with other actors, even if it's in a Zoom session, if you're, you know, during the COVID-19, get online with people, you know, work on scenes. That's the best, the best advice I can give you. Yeah. And from Corina Kadi, Corina Kadi on Instagram mm -hmm. profile. Jacob, Hi, describe yourself in one sentence. Oh, uh, that's a um, uh, nice um, question. complicated, happy, and satisfied. <laughs> that's cool. And uh, another question, play any sports? Yeah, I was, uh, I was a wrestler for, you know, through my, my young years, all the way through high school. Uh, you know, I played, uh, I, mean, I, I wrestled freestyle, Greco-Roman and collegiate. So wrestling was a, was a big, big, you know, part of my life for many, many years. And I enjoyed it because it wasn't a team sport. It was one-on-one -on -one, and it was only you with your opponent on the mat. And um, I, I, I rather enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, wrestling was a big deal in my life. Nice. And Martin Scott, uh, Martin Scott, how do we get your music? That's a good question. 
Good question. Yeah, my music is available pretty much anywhere and everywhere you can download. Of course, you can view it on YouTube for free. You can you listen to it on Spotify for free. Be sure to subscribe to my Spotify channel. Um, be sure to, you know, check it out on, you know, iTunes. I'm on there. I'm, I'm literally Apple Music. Any, anywhere and everywhere you can download music, it's available. So that's really cool. So any more interesting question? And this was this picture is from which year? Do you remember? That would have been from all my children. That would have been uh, in New York, and that would have probably been two thousand four, two thousand five. Okay. And this one is from Bold, Bold and Beautiful, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In those yeah. times. N nothing but hair, right there. Look at your hair. <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, I, I guess the Backstreet Boys were really kicking it back yeah, then. Yeah. Or a little bit like electric. <laughs> I, I, I was the I was the missing in sync singer. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Okay, Jacob. So we are almost almost coming to the end of our yeah Instagram live chat for tonight. So that was really cool. It was very mm -hmm. nice to have you tonight. So I really enjoyed our chat. Actually, it was really cool. Very nice. I really appreciate it myself. And thank you so much for having me and to all my fans and, you know, out there that have that tuned in tonight from all over the world. And, uh, and uh, thank you. And I'll, I'll be sure to uh, look, looking forward to hopefully coming out there and visiting you soon in person. Yes, and I wish you all the best for the new project, actually, with your uh, new Western project and the music. And all the best uh, for you and greetings to your family, for the, for, to the kids and your wife. And uh, keep in touch. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. joining. I'll... See you all next right, time. Thanks so much. Hey, good night, everybody. See you, Jacob. Thank you for Bye. joining. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Ciao. Thanks to Jacob. Great guy. I really... Enjoy the chat.